Hi, everybody. We want to share with you that we have created a very special event, which we are calling Resurrect Your Inner Christ and Buddha, which is the same frequency, by the way. Leave your Dharma now. And uh, I want to read a little bit about what this event is going to be about and why we are co-creating this special event right now. So we are all in the need of nurturing our universal Buddha and Christ in all of us. Um, many speak about the second coming of the Christ or the 5D existence or the new earth or heaven on earth. They are all metaphors for the same experience. And it's a frequency that we carry within. It's a code or a codex really that we have to reawaken within. And it's really the Christ or Buddha codes that are the ones that are helping us to manifest heaven on earth. So we all carry those codes within. And we have been uh, told by the Ascended Masters that 2023 is the year of the Christ in action. But for the Christ to be in action in the world, in other words, to be sharing our light with the world, we first need to reactivate our Christ codes. So we are in a moment when we are all required and being called to attain heart mastery, to really be in the heart space, in a place of non-judgment, in a place of creativity, in a space of light. Because in the heart, uh, it's where our divine potential is and the heart the Christ, the inner Christ that dwells there is the gateway to God. So we are again quantum jumping collectively to the next level of our spiritual, physical experience. And as we touch the heart, that's the center of love, truth for all of us and represents the foundation for authentic transformation. Many people are experiencing a lot of clearing and purging and purification right now. And they constantly ask, okay, how can I fully transition into the 5D? How can I fully internalize my light? And we have to touch the center of love truth because unless we are ready to face the truth of who we are, and we do that in a loving, compassionate way, we can't really shift. We can't make a difference, okay? Mm -hmm. So, all this event, which is uh, three hours, it's a mini retreat, really. It's a very special occasion where we get together and we will come from the heart space. We will show up that way to be in pure alignment with Mother, Father, God, with heaven and earth within, to become our own temples of light. Yes. And it's a reminder that the inner Christ, the inner Buddha, is that in a master and friend and guide that is showing you your way forward, that is protecting you, it's guiding you along the way and represents a full connection with your inner love, power and wisdom. As that awakens or reactivates within, you will feel that your whole body and consciousness start reanimating. Yes? So... Because we have been conditioned to sometimes uh, deny the importance of physical energy body uh, care, or we may have tried to take care of the physical body superficially, cosmetically, or forgotten about the soul and spirit of the body, it's very important to reconnect with the Christ. In all the traditions, including Kabbalah, the Judeo-Christian traditions, Egyptian lineages, yoga, Tibetan Buddhism, all the traditions point towards the center of the heart, the Buddha, the Christ being born there, being resurrected there. And it's important really to reawaken those codes because all that you are is there in the form of potential, but we have to manifest that potential. And because in the heart is where we get to reclaim our natural beauty and radiance, 
in a compassionate way. And this is the key because we are processing, we are healing, we are alchemizing so much individually and collectively. We need to really embrace Karuna consciousness. Karuna means compassion. Yeah. So we are resurrecting all our inner aspe aspects to ascend, to fully ascend in the physical form. And that requires a lot of compassion because we are excavating within, we are exploring all the facets, all the scope of our energy frequency from our highest potential and most radiant light to our trauma, fear, attachments. And we have to clear and order, reorganize all that in order to thrive. That's how we really cancel all forms of suffering and pain and we can dissolve all the matrix of illusion, yeah, the old matrix. So during this online event, it will be very practical and we will be sharing wisdom always, of course, but it's very, very practical. We are sharing uh, what we call the seal of integration. For those who have been in our retreat on May 2020, uh, sorry, March 2023 for the equinox, mm -hmm. uh, we have shared that uh, seal of the inner master but we are reactivating that because there's so much to it. And that comes with an uh, inner master mantra uh, to activate all that potential within. So whether you've been in the retreat or not, this will be new material, new insights, new revelations that we are sharing. And it's to make it easier for you to trust your soul wisdom, trust your journey, trust your path, and stay aligned with your ascension timeline. Yes? Um, so you will notice that as we open our humanitarian heart through the Christ, through the Buddha inside, first of all, we let go of judgment. Yes. And then we get to enjoy life and our journey without criticizing or punishing ourselves emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. And it's when we start loving ourselves unconditionally as a true direct experience. Also during this special event, we are turning the wheel of service. Turning the wheel of service means setting in motion a new set of teachings, new teachings uh, that are in accordance and relevance to this golden age. So we will invoke the Buddha and Christ lineage in all of us to receive all that we require to expand with this and grace in harmony with the cosmic law and to attract the souls who, are, who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear so that we can live our dharma now. Dharma is your righteous path, your path of ascension, your path of service, your path of joy, of reverence, of devotion to the light. So we are connecting with the Christ grid. We are activating a very special mudra, which is the Dharma Chakra Buddha uh, mantra. Uh, we are reawakening our Buddha Christ codes. We are revealing the creative desires of our inner Buddha and Christ, what it is that we truly came to realize as we are here on earth. We are also stepping into emptiness to start dissolving all individual collective suffering in an alchemical, soft, compassionate way. We will be also revisiting the eightfold path of the Buddha and turn it into our daily experience with very concrete practices. And also, we will be implementing the three Ds to shift our reality. We call the three Ds discipline, dedication, and devotion. Yes? So that's all that we need to really make the shift. And if we get together and we take collective responsibility for this individual and global shift, things can accelerate. Yes? So the new earth frequency is already here. But to fully step into that frequency in mind, heart, and body, we need certain tools and practices. So this is happening on Sunday, May the 7th. All of you are invited. It's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time or Dominican Republic time. Yes, uh, it's three hours with a 20 minute break where we will all be really celebrating ascension and receiving so much from the Christ and Buddha lineages. It's very affordable, so you can invite friends, family, all those who are really keen on ascension. We want to really create safe space for all those who need to release also a lot of fear or trauma and do it in a very sovereign, 
uh, wise way. So you're all invited to become lighter and to transition into the 5D and beyond. So, so to get started, even before we, um, we join and we gather all together in this special event, I invite you to start feeling in your heart the presence of love truth. This is the gateway to divinity. And you have access right now. The more that you are and stay in the heart space, the more the Christ and the Buddha can reactivate within, resurrect, come back to life. And you will notice that as you call in these frequencies and you feel the presence of love truth within, all the pain and suffering starts dissolving. You will be open to receive divine intervention. So source through the ascended masters, the Elohim, the elementals, the galactic levels will come closer to you to activate the specific codes that you require to uplift, to uplevel your consciousness and physical body so that you can stay in high vibrational fields of creation. And you can very quickly dissolve fear, insecurity, trauma, reactive behavior, resistance to more health and abundance in a very loving way, without judgment, without criticism. So we'll start by invoking Yehovah. That's one of the names of God, Yehovah. And feeling the presence of the Christ, the Christ in you. The Christ means the anointed one. So that you can start receiving divine grace. Because this journey is a combination of discipline surrender and divine grace. It's not about trying hard. It's not about being the good students. Even if you do all that, maybe you don't get to ascend because we need to leave room for grace and we cannot control or negotiate with grace. It just comes when it comes, but we can prepare our vehicle to accept miracles, to accept graceful solutions, to accept the service and the friendship and the mentorship of the Ascended Masters, to make it easier for us to stay in the light. So as you chant this name, Yehovah, 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 your Christ codes will start coming online. And the beauty about this journey and this special event is that your soul has gone through so much. There's so much love, wisdom, and power in your soul. It's about claiming that. It's about making sacred space within so that you can receive and anchor more light inside your own temple, your physical body and consciousness. So your soul is eternal. You have access to timeless wisdom. It's about knowing, remembering that those codes, that codex is already in your soul, in your DNA, in your heart in your energy particles. And it's taking the time. And if we do this collectively, it's faster. We create acceleration and instantaneity. It's about reconnecting, reactivating, reawakening these inner codes. But we need to be in a field that is aligned with that vision, 
where everybody's contributing their consciousness so that this happens on a collective level. So if you start feeling the calling, if you feel resonance with this event and all that we will be sharing there, we welcome you on May the 7th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Easter time, Dominican Republic time, to get together and relax into a field of light, a Christ field. We will all be receiving exactly what we need to take our physical and spiritual life to the next level. So thank you for joining us. Have a blessed week.